Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the DIY guy and today I've got another one of my useful electrical guys for you. I'm going to be showing you how to change one of these nasty old rose pendant lights for some nice new spotlights that will really brighten up your room. But before we make a start, please make sure you're subscribed because I've got loads of other great content coming to the channel. There's, there's bound to be something that will help you out in the future, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if the video helps you out, smash the like button because that really does help this video reach and help more people on YouTube. So make sure you give us a like. Right, let's make a start. I know you guys like it when I point out what you're going to need for each job. So for this one, you're going to want a multi-pack of spotlights. We're going to be putting eight in this room here. But the spotlight choice is entirely up to you. You're also going to want some 1.5mm twin and earth cable, okay? So you can see here, it's 1.5mm twin and earth. Um, you're going to want, what we got, what goodies we got in here? You're going to want a Wago box, okay? I'll stick a link down below in the description where you can grab yourself one of those. Um, you're going to want some connectors. I like these Wago connectors again. I'll stick a link in the description. And if you look up here in the corner, I'll put a link to a video where I explain exactly which ones of these you're going to want to be using. You're going to want wire strippers. You're going to want loads of different screwdrivers. You're going to want all kinds of things, snips, maybe a bolt pen, general electrical tools. Um, this is earth sleeving. You're going to need to grab yourself a length for that. Uh, tape measure, a pencil, your general tools. Oh, and you're going to want a level. And we have here somewhere a laser level if you have one but that's not a necessity sorry guys i've got going with the job and just realized i didn't list a drill and a hole saw on the list of tools so i'll edit this bit and put it back in somewhere and obviously you're going to want a hopper or a ladder right guys before we make a start i do need to say that if you're not completely comfortable doing this kind of electrical work i would definitely suggest that you call a qualified electrician for this one however if you are comfortable and you do want to give it a go this video will give you all the necessary knowledge to convert one of them old pendant lights over to some nice fancy new spotlights now when you've chosen the light and circuit that you're going to work on you must make sure and this is very important you must make sure that that circuit is dead and that you're not going to give yourself any nasty electrical shocks. Okay, step one, choose the room and the light and circuit that you want to convert from a pendant light to some fancy new spotlights. Step two, we need to mark out on the ceiling where we're going to be putting our spotlights. Okay, so there's two ways to mark out where we want these spotlights. The most obvious way is to grab a tape measure. That's just basic measurement and maths, okay? There's nothing fancy about it. It's just choosing where you want them spotlights to eliminate any dark spots within the room. So you don't want any big dark corners or anything like that. So it's just about choosing where them spotlights are going to go. Okay, so have a measure around on the ceiling, but you want them to be certainly in line with each other. Otherwise, when you walk in the room, it'll look really stupid if they're not completely in line. Now you can either use a big long level to mark a line along the room so that you get them all perfectly in line or you can use a laser level so that you get a perfect line along the ceiling and you can work to that laser line. Now the key thing to remember, and this is where a lot of people go wrong, is that there's joists in the ceiling. So you need to find out where them joists are because you don't want to be drilling a big hole to put a spotlight in and you find out there's a joist there because then you've got a massive hole to repair and we don't want that. We're already going to have one hole in the middle of the room to repair later on. So we don't want to make any unnecessary holes. So head up into your loft, find out where them joists are, so that when you put a hole through, you're not going to hit one of them joists. I know there's a joist next to this pendant light, so I can measure back, and I know exactly where the other joists are. Because I've been up there, I've measured out that each joist is 600 mil apart. So I know that 600 mil from that spotlight, there's going to be a joist here, and I know that it's going to be another one 600 mil further on. Okay, so I know that I've got no chance of hitting them joists. Don't worry about the pendant light hole that you're going to create for now. We'll fix that hole at the end. Let's just get the spotlights in and do the wiring first. Once you're confident that you've marked out where your spotlights need to go and that you're not going to hit any joists or cables above, that's very important too, then let's go ahead and put some holes in. But before you go cutting any holes, make sure the hole saw you're using is the correct size for your chosen spotlights. So 
so that's our first four, that's our first row. Now we'll mark off the other side where the joists are, run our laser down the other side of the room and do the next four. And there you go, that's all eight spotlights, perfectly parallel and in the middle of the room. Right, that's the messy bit out of the way. Once you've done that bit, we'll move on up into the loft and drop some wiring down for the new spotlights. And don't worry, I'll be showing you how to wire up all of this stuff. This isn't just a video to show you how to drill some holes. What I would say, if you're doing this on a room downstairs, this is now the bit where you're gonna to need to lift up some flooring in a room upstairs so that you can access the wiring. I'm lucky this is an upstairs room so it can be done up in the loft. Okay so this is easier to explain on a piece of paper. Now all of these spotlights are on what we call a radial circuit. And I do have a video on the channel explaining the differences between ring and radial. I'll put a little pop up in the top here. So what we need to do is we need to daisy chain these because we can daisy chain uh, as many lights as we want on a radial circuit. So we're going to use a 1.5mm twin and earth and what will happen is the first light is going to be, say, this one here. And we'll daisy chain that into the next spotlight. We'll then daisy chain it to the next one and so on and so forth until we make a little ring of spotlights. So that's the next step. We'll pop up into the loft and we'll drop some wires down into those holes. So you'll see there'll be two wires that'll come out of each hole so that we can wire the spotlights up. Once we've got this little daisy chain of spotlights wired up, we'll be able to take a feed into our first one. Right guys, come up into the loft, find the eight holes that you've made, and we need to link those holes together with our pieces of twin and earth, like I show you on the drawing. This here is our ceiling rose from above. So you've got them wires there, but we'll address that in a moment. But it's worth uncovering the top of your pendant or ceiling rose, and that way you've got that reference for later. Right, we've got one of the holes. Keep digging. Now I'll join all of those holes up with a length of twin and earth. Daisy chain them all together. Just make sure you leave enough length hanging out of the ceiling below so that you can wire the spotlights into it. So what you do, grab your first length of wire, drop a good amount down through the ceiling, and then chop off enough that you can link each hole and drop that down into the other hole. You can then leave that there for now and that's that hole linked to that hole and now we do the same with the next one. So we drop off, drop a reasonable amount down through the ceiling like so. Should look something like this. So there's all eight holes daisy chained together. This one here, you'll notice only has one wire coming out of the hole, but that's the last spotlight in the circuit, so we don't need the two in there. But I'll show you a little bit more about that on a diagram once we've got these spotlights in the holes. We're going to offer up our spotlights to each cable, strip each cable back, so we'll reveal a live, a neutral, and an earth at the end of each one of these wires. And if you look at the spotlight itself, you can see you've got a live and a neutral and a live and a neutral. There's no earths on these, okay? So all we need to do is insert a live and a neutral in and a live and a neutral out to the next spotlight so that we end up joining all of these spotlights in our daisy chain. But it's probably best to just check your instructions that you got with your spotlight so that you know that you're wiring them up correctly. So strip the ends of the wires back just enough that they're going to be able to be pushed in but remain insulated within the body of the light. Because if you look here, there's some little grippers on the inside of the spotlight and they're designed to grip onto the cable. So you don't want to be stripping very much off at all. So they're marked on the light, live and neutral on each side. Move the earth wire out of the way because we don't need that. And then push the live and the neutral in together at the same time and you can leave the earth sitting beside the terminals and then grab the little retainer 
and that should just push and lock onto the cable. This is really hard to record upside down on the sealant, live on the right. Push them in, just check they're in properly and then push your retaining clip all the way home. And that's your first two wires in, in and out. Then all you need to do is flick these springs back. It can be a little bit tricky. And push the lot up into the bolt, like so. Right, I'll crack on the other seven. As you can see, that is all of the spotlights in and wired up. And I'll show you from above what that looks like too. And there you go guys. So, so that wire in the middle there, this one, is the wire that will go to our existing rows where our power feed is. So you can think that the power is going to come out along that wire into our first spotlight, second spotlight, third spotlight, fourth spotlight, fifth, sixth, seventh and ends at the eighth. So that is our spotlight ring installed. All we need to do now is power it. So the next step is to remove the old rose fitting. Now like I said earlier, make sure that the circuit you're working on is dead and that you're not going to give yourself any nasty shocks. First step to taking this down is to remove the live and the neutral that feed the existing bulb. Okay, so you'll be able to trace that wire, which will be the brown one. Again, I'll explain this on a diagram. Just undo the live and undo the neutral feed. Give them a pull. And what do we have next? In this block here, we have a switch live, which is a blue wire, but with a brown sleeve. That comes from the light switch. And then you've got two permanent lives next to each other here. So they're the two permanent lives. You then have your neutral wire, undo the neutral wire as well, and you've then got your earth wires. Next step, we can take the rose plate down, pull that down, and you can see there that we've got a little bit of repair to do on the ceiling later. That's not important. They're just small holes, we can fill them, rub them down, and repaint that later all this wire and push it up into the loft space or the, or the floor space above and there you go that is gone so we'll start by putting all of our earths together in one block this is the new piece of wire that goes off to the first spotlight strip that back Put a bit of earth sleeving on there. Put the earth into the block with the others. And that's all of our earths in. Then what you need to do, put your two neutral wires together, the one from the previous room and the one to the spotlights. the neutrals and then what we need to do is we need to put our switched live coming back from the light switch into a block and put that with the live wire that goes off to the spotlights so they're together the last two wires you need to connect is the live wire going off to the switch and the live wire coming from the previous room Join those two together in a block. And there you go, give them all a tug, check they're in properly. Which they are. Grab your Wago box. And we can put all of these into the box. OK, 
can be a little bit fiddly to get all these in sometimes but there you go they're all in and all you need to do is snap the box closed like so and that box there can just sit up here in the loft space right let's go back down and now we can turn the power on give it a test yeah whoa they're bright so as you can probably tell all eight of our spotlights are working perfectly all you need to do now is fill the little holes repair the sealant give it a lick of paint and that is a successful conversion from a horrible old pendant light to some lovely new spotlights right guys you can tell how lovely and bright it is in here that's job done and hopefully you found this video useful if you have hit the like button for me because that allows this video to reach and help more people on youtube and make sure you're subscribed because you're not going to want to miss any of my other content that's to come and i've got some really great stuff to come over christmas so make sure you're subscribed and don't forget there's loads of other videos on the channel so hit one of these little boxes that's going to pop up and uh, go check some of my other stuff out on the DIY guy, it's been a pleasure as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.